Hello folks, this is G-Wave here, and we're back with another Spyro 2 Reignited Trilogy. Excuse me. Last time we were here, we were doing some backtracking, so let's not waste any more time. I'm going to go to this world so we could get some, the last two worlds, so we could get a power orb or two, so we could kick Ripto's butt. Mechanical vermin. Howdy, Spyro. These here pests have infested our farm. Could you find the time to help us get rid of them? Find your way over to the giant bug lamp and turn it on so we can zap any more feeding pests. No problem, partner. So yeah, robot stutter, robot cowboys, robot farmers. Damn vermin. Yeah, you did what you need the head bash attack to do. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, I'm not even going to do the side quest. I'm just going to do the main mission for this game. I mean, this this uh, world.
There we are. Here, buggy, buggy, buggies. Go, Spyro. Them varmints won't be coming near our crops now. Can I offer you a reward? Thank you, partner. <laughs> Let's zap them pyramids. Yeah, let me not do the fake southern accent. Let me stop. Alright, so because I really want to finish this game up and I want to just fight Ripto, I'm gonna actually, like, uh, do this last world and that's it. So it only took me eight minutes, so let me do this last world right here. with a missile launcher. Look, the enemies in this world are funny. This insurrection from the farms has got quite out of hand. We need someone to restore order. Find the inventor droid. She's been working on something big. I know, right? That's our enemies for here. Farm animals dressed like space people. budget cuts, these elevators need serious work. Oh shoot, there was one there. Like seriously, these enemies are so silly looking. Like, farm animals dressed as Astronauts and people from outer space. We go. I just find it hilarious how these pigs are like suicide bombers. I also find it ironic that Spyro is fighting farm animals, and yet farm animals were some of the creatures he could kill to get butterflies for sparks. I heard you were coming. 
Thank you for your efforts in thwarting this attempted coup. Please take this item, which living creatures seem to like. It's a first for Avalar, a combination power-up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep in their spaceships must be stopped. You're right. The sheep are meant for me to kill them. Here, sheepy, sheepy, sheep. Yeah, this is a combo one right here, guys. Now we can fly and shoot fire. There you are. Excellent work. You knocked those sheep right out. Sure thing. There we are. Flying airmen, you've proven the genius of my double power up invention. Here, keep this to commemorate your victory. Thank you. And my timer. All right, so that's it. I'm going to. Go fight Ripto now, guys. Look at this. Funny right here. <laughs> I swear, man. Let this be a lesson to you. Look both ways when you cross the street. Hold up, let me answer this phone call real quick. Give me a second. Alright guys, so we have enough, so I'm not going to delay us anymore. So I'm going to go and battle Ripto. Now like I said, Gulp was the most difficult boss in this game, but Ripto is challenging too. Like in order, here's how the bosses are. The easiest boss in the game was Crush. The second easiest is a mini boss, which was in the world I was in. I could have gone back and fought it, but I didn't want to waste any more time. So I'll do the mini boss in the 100% run, okay, guys? So, and then, of course, we got If I Ever Do It, because sometimes I say I do, but you know what? It, it's just too much effort. And also, I'm not a really 100%er. Like, I just do it for you. Say I'll do it for you guys. So maybe I'll do it. Maybe no. But either way, and the second hard boss is Ripto, but the hardest was Gulp. But now I can fight Ripto. Now that you've got the orbs, Ripto's demise is only moments away, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Well, anyway, good luck. He's right through this door. All right, guys, here we go. Here's Ripto. Damn, the sheep are so unlucky in this world. Yeah! Come back here, you useless animals! Hey, Shorty, maybe I can help. What? You again? Yep, 
If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still, I promise. Hmm, I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! All right, here, here he is, ripped all the final boss. Like again, everyone thinks Ripto's the main villain of the whole Spiral franchise because he's. Let me talk about this later. Zoe. We want to help you fight Ripto. Elora is using the orbs you collected to store power up energy. Hunter will throw the powered up orbs to you as they become ready. Even as we speak, the professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy, so you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before. Zoe, that is not your voice. Like, I heard your voice before. That's not it. Look, you can hurt Ripto with your flame breath and your head back, but it won't do damage to him. Just stun him. And look, Eat Orb does something different. Now you can hurt Ripto. So yeah, the blue ones double your charging abilities. And the red ones boost up your fire breath attack. But you gotta get them before Ripto, otherwise he can use them against you. Uh-oh. Got him. Look at this. It's like a robo gulp. Oh, gotta get it, gotta get the sheep. Got him. Damn, look, Hunter's down. A Robo Pterodactyl. This is the combo one. Yeah, fly directly into me, Ripto. Really? Where'd he go? Got him! Yup, 
That's the end of Ripto. Well, not really. He somehow survived that. But we beat him. We did it, guys. I don't think we could ever thank you enough, Spyro. I suppose Aww. you have to go now? Yeah. Better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Hmm. I most certainly do not. Hunter? <laughs> thank you, Hunter. Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Yes. Wow, thanks. Uh, Sparks, can you grab them? Let me just type in the new coordinates and there. Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. He'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We got a lot of Yeah, Alora and Spyro have a thing with each other. Well, you know, until Cinder was introduced, but that's a story for another day. So, yep, we beat it, Ripto. So, let me ask you guys something. Who do you think is a better final boss, Ripto or Nasty Nork? I personally like Ripto better because, like, you know, he was an actual challenge, whereas Nasty Nork is more of the platform. Oh, look at this. Welcome to Dragon Shore, Spyro. Sorry, but I can't let you into our little park until you found more of the gems and orbs hidden throughout Avalar. Good luck. So yeah, like, this is Dragon Shores. It's basically just like a whole level of mini games. That's it. That's all it is. Nothing big. So, yeah. So I'm going to end this video here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. So, basically, I love this game. This game I love more than the first game. This one, definitely you can tell that they did more improvements than in the first game. This one is actually my favorite of all the Spyro games. Well, that and another game of Spyro, which is a hero's tale, which is the original Spyro 5, but I love this game. My favorite boss in the whole game was Gulp. Gulp was my favorite boss because he was more challenging and he was more like, oh, you gotta be on your feet. Ripto was challenging too, but he was okay. And Crush, well, he was easy. And Crush, Gulp, and Ripto are not finished because they actually survived. Like, yeah, Crush survived getting the rubble falling on top of him, Gulp is still alive, and Ripto, he somehow, hi Sparks, he somehow survives falling in lava. Because Ripto returns in a bunch of other Spyro games, like he returns in Enter the Dragonfly, which is, yeah, the, one of the worst Spyro games ever. But Ripto also returns in the... When the Game Boy Spyro games, he returns in Spyro Season Fire and Ice, where he's the main villain of both games. He also returns in Spyro Ro, Revenge of the Rhinox, or Rampage of the Rhinox. I keep on forgetting the name of that one. But Ripto does return in that game, where he's somewhat the main villain, I guess. I think he's the main villain if I'm not mistaken, but he's in charge of the Rhinox in that game, who I'll explain who the Rhinox are in Spyro 3. And basically, yeah, Ripto also returns in one of the worst Spyro games ever, and also one of the worst Crash games ever, Spyro Orange and Crash Purple, where Ripto teams up with Crash Bandicoot's archenemy, Dr. Cortex in the crossover and yeah that is literally one of the worst spiral games ever so yeah and because ripto was used in more spiral games than other spiral villains everyone kept on thinking that ripto was the main villain of the whole spiral franchise so let me see my timer yeah I got time. like everyone kept on thinking like ripto was the main villain of the whole spiral series but he's not 
Ripto is not the main villain of the whole series. That's the thing. Spyro doesn't have a main villain. He really doesn't. Like, that's why they keep on giving him new and new villains. Like, that. What well, that's what the first Spyro from other video game heroes like Mario, Sonic... <laughs> Like, yeah, like that was the first one from other characters like Mario, Sonic, Crash, and Ratchet and Clank. Like, he doesn't have a main, main arch enemy. He doesn't. And that's what I like about Spyro is that you don't exactly know who his main villain is. You don't. Look at that. That's the big portal that Spyro went home to when... So basically, yeah, that's about it. So in terms of Ripto, just keep on going for the orbs, otherwise Ripto will use them against you. It's basically like Gulp's fight, where like, you know how Gulp, he'll use the power-ups against you, even though we didn't see him do it, because I know how to beat Gulp. But either way, yeah, that's what you do. And when the same thing when you see Ripto summon Mecha Gulp. Like, I don't know if that was like a mechanical version of Gulp or mechanical bull. It looked like Gulp. So, I can only assume it was a mechanical gulp. So, that was it. Do the same thing. And when you're flying a pterodactyl, like when Ripto's on his robot pterodactyl, just keep on attacking, firing, and make sure you hit him. Because Ripto's attacks will do really crucial damage to you. So... Basically, yeah, that's just it, what I can say. And you can see right there, Spyro and Alora eventually forge, like, more than a friendship with each other in the third game. But the thing about Alora is that she's not used in the other games. Like, yeah, in Spyro 3, she appears, but not for too much. And all of a sudden, her and Spyro are dating all of a sudden, from what it looks like. Like, either they're trying to forge a relationship with each other, or at least Alora is... Is, like, it's still obvious that Spyro isn't 100% clear that Alora has, like, feelings towards him like that or anything. But it is hinted that Spyro has the same thing towards her. And I'll explain their relationship in more depth once I play the third game. I'm not going to play the third game in next playthrough because I got another game I got that's coming out that I really want you guys to see. That is a new game and it's going to be really good. It's going to be really dope. So, in terms of raking this game... It is really good. I love it. I love it. It's definitely better than the first game. 10 out of 10 because it's definitely way better than the first game. Way better. In the first game, I gave it a 9 out of 10, if I'm not mistaken, because my only complaint was that the bosses didn't feel like bosses at all. But this game, Crush, Gulp, and Ripto felt like bosses. Like, they don't run away like Nasty Nork did and his minions. They actually fight you and they got health bars. Like, it's really good, this game. And like I said, the mechanics are better. Like, when you fly, you press triangle, you could do that leap ability. You couldn't do that in the first game. When you did that in the first game, you just dropped dead. And the fact that Spyro can swim and go underwater and he won't die, that's really good. And like I said, there's this, the head bash ability. Like... You can tell they really improved from the first game. Not that the first game is bad or anything, it's amazing, but in my opinion, the second game is definitely the better. Look at this. I brought the joystick, Sparks does this. I don't know what that does, but eh. So, anyway, I'm gonna end this video right here, guys, because this was an amazing game. This was really good. You can tell the developers from the original people from Traveler's Tale and later on Toys for Bob definitely did good remaking it. Yeah, in case y'all don't know, Spyro was made by Traveler's Tale. They're the same people that made Jack and Daxter. But then Spyro started to be used for anything, the same thing with Crash, and now Spyro is completely owned by both Activision and Toys for Bob. And in 2021 and in 2022, uh, Microsoft bought the rights to Spyro and Crash, so basically Microsoft Studio is going to be making the Spyro games, and there is a Spyro 4 in the works. Toys for Bob is still making it, but they did uh, confirm that a Spyro 4 is in the works. That's right, all the other Spyro games that came out 
have been retconned. Same thing with the Crash games. And I'll explain the Crash games when I do Crash's game. Yes, one of these days I will play Crash Bandicoot, I swear. So I'm going to end this video here. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. 10 out of 10 of this game. This game is amazing. And when I get to the third game, I'm going to rank which game I like the most and which game I like the least. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, subscribe to the channel. Check out my TikTok and Instagram if you want to see some other content. And I'll see you guys next time when we do yet another Spyro. I'm sorry, my bad, not Spyro. When we do get another video game playthrough, this is G-Wave signing out. Peace, God bless, have a good day or night, depending what time you're watching this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, and God bless. Bye.